Donnie and Dolly. The team is supported by ableauctions.ca. Closing your business, we can help. Okay. All of our guests today, including Neil McAvoy, brought to you by our friends at the Waddling Dog. Their 50-seat patio is open seven days a week with a new menu coming soon featuring the Donnie and Dolly Cocktail. Oh! The Donnie and Dolly Cocktail. There better be crown in uh, there. I was just going to say. Also, UFC night start June 10th. Uh, swing by their attached liquor store to pick up your Donnie and Dolly swag. There are countless reasons to come, sit, and stay at the Waddling Dog. Lions open up their CFL season, their 2023 CFL season, Thursday in Calgary. Their home opener is Saturday, June 17th with LL Cool J. Four o'clock start, BC Place against Edmonton. Here to talk uh, about that and all matters, Leo is BC Lions co-general manager, Neil McAvoy. Neil, thanks for doing this, sir. How are you? Thanks for having me, guys. It would be nice on a beautiful day like today to be at the Waddling Dog to do this, but hey. <laughs> Second best is with you guys on this. Oh, uh, well, oh. We, we appreciate that. Thank you. Okay, let's get the, the hard stuff uh, uh, out of the way, Neil. Jonathan uh, Kongbo, big deal. You, you, you sign him May 21st. He's traded, uh, what, 10 days, two weeks later to Hamilton, reportedly not a fit in the room. Neil, what the heck happened there? Yeah, you know what? As the general manager, I just felt it was time after conversations with the coach that it wasn't going to be a fit. And so it uh, unfortunately was, was uh, you know, we had to make the tough move and uh, move on. As a fan, I, I missed opportunity for him and for us and everything else. Like, I really wished it would have worked out. I mean, I it, you know, local guy mm -hmm. has uh, played at some big level football. So to be quite honest, I'm, I'm uh, I guess the word isn't disappointed, but I guess, you know, disappointed that it didn't work out. But I have to do what's best for the football team, and unfortunately for uh, all of us and him, what was best for the football team was to move on. And, um, you know, um, it, it does tell us or it does show that we do have a good football team. We have a bunch of young guys that we were, you know, able to say, hey, no problem. Let's just move on. Let's get hmm. – let's just move in a different direction because we have guys that can fill that spot. So that's a testament to the club. But, again, as a uh, fan – of local players and a fan of guys who grew up in the province of British Columbia, I was uh, hoping this one would have worked out. He says, uh, um, or he's t tweeted out, calling out star players for not showing up to practice, for not w working out. Uh, he uh, questioned the Lions' culture. How, how do you react to that, Neil? Well, again, just didn't fit into our culture. So, I mean, if he doesn't fit in, he didn't feel he was going to be a fit here. That's one of the reasons why I had to make the decision to move on. Um, we we feel our group feels we have a good culture. I know we have a bunch of good guys. Um, so you know it, it's it's professional football. It's all alpha male. So if you don't fit in, unfortunately the pack rules and just kicks you out. So uh, the easy way to say he wasn't a fit. We moved on, and so uh, we're moving on to Calgary. Uh, unfortunately, without him. So you let go of Sean Lemon uh, to make room for Jonathan Kongbo. Any chance you can get Sean back? Well, not necessarily. We let go of Sean Levin because we liked the group we already okay. had. Uh, we felt we were going to go in a younger direction. Jonathan Combo was a uh, you know just an addition we had been talking about. Uh, we'd been talking with him for a while. Uh, it took us a while to get him under contract before Sean Levin even became a part of our football team. So those are separate incidents, but uh, same position, but not you know one's American, one's Canadian. So we didn't necessarily bring in Jonathan for. Sean or vice versa. Uh, Neil, two preseason games. What did you like and what are some things that still need to, to be worked on? Yeah, I liked a lot of things. I mean, the fact that uh, Big Play VA was able to put up over 220 yeah. yards in a quarter of football, I mean, uh, that, that's pretty good. I don't care who you are or what position you're in. If you're able to produce that type of offensive <laughs> performance, um, I'm going to be happy with it. So, um, a lot of good things, uh, you know, uh, obviously professional football, this is work in progress. We are practicing every day. Going into Calgary is not going to be easy. Mm -hmm. It never is easy, never will be easy. And, uh, you know, they're going to be up for us. We're going to be up for them. This is a great Western Division rival. That's why the Canadian Football League is so special. We get to go into Calgary on Thursday night and uh, see what type of football team we have. I think we have a good football team, but they, they think the same thing too. So it's going to be tough either way. 
Uh, Neil, the running back position, James Butler, no longer here. Uh, did anybody uh, catch your attention? Uh, is going to take that role? Well, I like the explosiveness of Taekwon. That's why he's going to get the start uh, uh, Thursday night. Um, I think Antonio showed a lot of grit and a lot of uh, you know um, able ability to uh, protect the pocket and everything else. But the coaches just feel the uh, home run ability of Taekwon is where we're going to start. So he's going to get the start Thursday night in Calgary. Um, are you an LL Cool J fan? Uh, yes, absolutely. Do you know what was amazing? So at the game, uh, mm. I did not know. I met with Amar that day. I met with Dwayne, and I said, you know, I don't want to know. Don't tell me anything. I'll mm. just be part of the of the process. But um, when I was at the game listening to the intro, I'm like, why are they playing an LL Cool J song to introduce <laughs> the band? And then when they announced it, I'm like, wow, that is big time. LL Cool J is one of the greatest artists of our time. So let's call it what it is. I mean, can you get any bigger than that? Um, I, I think it's amazing, um, especially growing up in the 80s and 90s. Just a true guy that I'm, yeah, I'm excited about that concert for sure. What's Amar Doman like to work for? Uh, an amazing individual. Uh, it's it's cool going to his downtown office meeting. With him. Guys, it's it's great to have a hometown owner that is, uh, you know, passionate about football, as we're seeing, not just three-down football. He's passionate about football, coaches it. He's all bought in. Um, you know, not having to fly to Hamilton, Ontario to talk to uh, David just to take, you know, the car downtown, which sometimes stresses me out, but that's just downtown traffic. But, um, yeah, I, I think it's amazing. He's a great guy. He he gives us the opportunity to, uh, you know, uh, build this thing as we want it. Um, we run everything by him, but uh, he he's on board with all this. And as a guy who's been with this team since 1996, it's refreshing to see an individual uh, come in and uh, just uh, move this in the right direction. All right, one more uh, for me anyway. Hatcher, Rhymes, uh, Whitehead, Katoy, what can you tell us about the strength of your receiving core? Got an amazing receiving core. Even, uh, you know, Holland's going to add him in there. Yeah. Uh, and uh, McInnes, who had a, a phenomenal preseason. I, I would compare our receivers to any receivers in the Canadian Football League. And, uh, you know, as much as we love Vernon Adams, the fact that uh, he'll even tell you this, the fact that those receivers were able to make the plays for him made him look great. So our receivers are going to, uh, you know, uh, do the thing, the right things and uh, put us on the map, which is which is all good. Neil, all the best Thursday in, in Calgary and certainly all the best with the LL Cool J and your, <laughs> uh, your, your home opener on the 17th. Guys, always appreciate you having me, and uh, good luck for you guys in the show, and I can't wait to be on next. Awesome. Go Lions. Awesome. Thanks, Neil. Appreciate it. Neil McAvoy, co-general manager of the BC Alliance.